everybody and welcome to a impromptu, rather short version of Let's Play Pillars of Eternity. I thought I'd introduce you to a new character. You see, as we were sat here in the common room of the Black Hound, eating some lovely pie by the recently rescued cook and recovering from our escapades in the Veilwood, fighting a bear, taking care of nonsense, and and generally just letting our hair down before travelling south, a rather strange dwarf crashed his way in. In a slightly drunken stupor, smell of ale on his breath, appears to like a drink. He sat down next to us as one of the few available spaces tonight because it's rather busy. And started just randomly telling us about his escapades as a mercenary. Edda and Aloth kind of rolled their eyes and, black, uh, and sort of blocked him out, but for Doran listened intently as he told tales of lopping people's heads off, hacking them down where they stood without even flinching and batting an eye. And for Doran knew he had to, he had to get this man's services. He sounds like he can handle himself. More importantly, he sounds like he could probably. Protect Fedora in times of dire situations. And so he made an offer he couldn't refuse. Well, I'm sure he could refuse it, but he didn't refuse it. He promised him adventure. He promised him riches. He likes riches. And he, in his drunken state, vowed to accompany us on our travels. Little does Fedora know that this is probably the biggest mistake of his life, because I'm sure this dwarf is going to make his life a misery with taunts and mocking japes. He can't stand people that are cowards, and therefore I don't know how this relationship is going to work, but we'll see how it develops. Oh, you're, you're, his name you're asking? His name is... Nadog. Work it out. <laughs> he's a, he's a second-level barbarian. He hails from the mountains. Although he has a long-lost, distant fifth cousin twice removed, who grew up in a library somewhere. He's a mercenary. He's a barbarian. He's a jewel-wielding barbarian with a foul temper. As I said, he likes riches. He craves a bit of fame and fortune. He likes a bit of ale. All the typical things. High might, high might, high constitution, dexterity, pretty decent for a dwarf. Uh, perception, he's self-centered. He doesn't care about other people. He just cares about hacking people down and taking their things. How is that going to fare when we have a benevolent, diplomatic and honest party leader? Oh, there's going to be some, there's going to be some clashes here. I can feel it coming. And I have a feeling it's going to be sticking with us for a long, long time. Yeah. Carnage. Frenzy. He's, he's, he's just a recluse. He's just an absolute maniac. <laughs> and I'm sure we're going to grow to love him. So say hello, everybody, to Nadog. That's right. Nadog. <laughs> So join me in the next session, which will be in a couple of days' time, to see how he fits in. What's he going to do? God only help for Doran. Until next time, see you soon.